Welcome to Read Aloud with Mr. Paul. I'm so glad you could be here. Be sure to subscribe so you won't miss a single story. Today we'll be reading Brave Every Day by Trudy Ludwig, illustrated by Patrice Barton. Only when we are afraid can we learn to be brave. Brave Every Day by Trudy Ludwig Illustrated by Patrice Barton Most kids love hide and seek. Not Camila. She just wants to hide. Hiding is what Camila does best when she worries. And she worries a lot. Every morning, Camila's what-if worries show up uninvited and follow her out the door. What if the bus doesn't show up? What if Mrs. Flores calls on me and I don't know the answer? What if I have no one to play with at recess? Her I can't worries sneak up on her at school. I can't go first. I can't read this aloud with everyone looking at me. I can't take this test without my favorite eraser. And her I'm scared worries visit her at night. Mom! Camila doesn't think of herself as very brave, but she is. She just doesn't know it yet. One Monday morning, Mrs. Flores has exciting news to share. We'll be going to the aquarium next week. And after the trip, you'll each give a presentation on the sea creature of your choice. Come get your permission slips. Bubbling with excitement, many students rush to pick up the forms. Not Camila. Her worries keep her firmly anchored to her seat. Have you ever been to an aquarium? asks Mrs. Flores. No, squeaks Camila. Well, I'm sure you'll enjoy the field trip. But Camila isn't so sure. What's the matter, Camila? Afraid you'll get eaten by a big old hungry shark? taunts Wyatt. Or inked by an octopus? teases Remy. Camila sinks lower in her seat as her worries weigh her down. That's enough, you two, warns Mrs. Flores as she moves on to Kai's desk. For the rest of the week, Camila worries about all the things that could go wrong at the aquarium. When the big day arrives, Camila tries her best to blend into the background, avoiding crowds of kids and scary sea creatures. Feeling overwhelmed, Camila finds a hiding spot to catch her breath. Only to discover Kai already there. Are you okay? asks Camila. Not really, says Kai. This is my one big chance to be right next to a real live stingray, and now I'm scared to do it. But I thought you loved this kind of stuff. Well, I love reading about it, says Kai. Maybe it would help if we both go in there together. What do you think? Um, says Camila as she struggles to get her words out. I, uh, will you please, please come with me? Seeing Kai so nervous makes Camila realize her heart is bigger than her fears. Instead of, what if, I can't, and I'm scared, Camila says, I'll try. (laughs) 
Now, whenever Camila feels the need to hide, she bravely keeps on trying, in both big and little ways, to make sure that she gets found. And the octopus is great at hiding to protect itself. It can also be playful, shy, angry, and scared, just like us. Ready or not, here I come! Thank you so much for joining me for Read Aloud with Mr. Paul. Until next time, discover the wonder in a book. Pick one up. Take a look. For more fun stories, like and subscribe to Read Aloud with Mr. Paul. Thanks again.